talk about everyday objects. In our homes, there are so many things that we use every single day, but are we using them correctly? Mm, I don't know. So when I tested out these objects, my mind was blown. And I'm sure there's at least one or two in here that's going to surprise you. But if you guys like these sorts of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let's start with plastic bags. They take up so much space and finding a place for them can be really tricky. Does this look familiar to you guys? Don't worry, I've got a great little hack for you. It's super easy. First, just flatten the plastic bag on a table or a flat surface. Then fold both sides into the middle and fold once more. Then just start folding one side into a triangular shape and do this all the way until you get to the handles and then just tuck it in. Voila! I just store these guys into a little jar and sometimes I'll stick them underneath my trash can so it's easier to grab and put on. If you ever find yourself with an ornament you can't hang because you lost the piece that goes on top, grab a paper clip. They come in really handy. Most trained typists will already know this, but the F and J keys are home keys where your index fingers rest. The little bumps let you find your way back to the home position without looking down at your keyboard. Now what's that hole in the pasta spoon? This one is going to blow your mind. Its primary purpose is to strain the pasta and let the water drain out, but on many spoons, the hole is just about the size of one person's portion of spaghetti. So if you're making pasta for one, this is the way to go. Maybe you've never noticed it before, but most cars have an arrow or handle that indicates which side of the car the gas cap is on. Believe me, it comes in handy when you're driving a rental car. Did you guys know, the little bumps between your tire treads mark the minimum safe tread height, so if you're looking a little low, you might want to get your tires replaced. If you've ever tried Asian cuisine, you've probably encountered a pair of chopsticks before. If you're in need of an awesome DIY holder for your sticks, this is a great one. Roll up the wrapping paper over your index and middle finger, and make sure you tuck in the end so that it's secure and doesn't come loose, and then just fold in the sides. Now you have a beautiful little holder to place your chopsticks on. Super cute, right? What's that dot next to the iPhone camera? Well, it's a microphone for when you're using the back camera. It helps eliminate background noise when you're recording videos from the rear camera. Cool, right? Wine bottles nowadays are much stronger and machine-made, so the punt is simply part of wine bottle tradition. Some say it helps collect the sediment, but what I like to do is I'll put my thumb in the punt and pour. It's super easy and makes you look like a sommelier. If you need to chop garlic, this is the way to do it. Grab a bunch of cloves and smash them. Put them in a cup, cover, and shake it really, really hard. They come out totally clean, peeled, and ready to chop. This one blew my mind. If you ever find yourself without a bag clip, do this instead. Fold the open part of the bag down to where the chips, or in this case, popcorn meets. Flip it over and fold in the top corners. Then flip it over again and lift up the fold and pull it over to the other side. No clip, no problem. And there you have it. Everyday objects you might be using wrong. It's just crazy to me that there are things in your home that you've been using a certain way that there are so many different purposes for. Like that's just crazy, insane. I learned a lot, I hope you guys did too. Be sure to comment below with how many new things you learned in this video. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye. If you missed my latest videos, click it here and watch it now.